What's cracking, YouTube? It's me, the Biz, Fishy Biz Aquatics. And today, today's video, we're talking about substrate or bare bottom tanks. Why use one and not the other? Why use the other and not this one? We're getting into it today, right here on this video. Should I do substrate or should I leave a bare bottom tank? Let's talk about it right now. Don't move. Fishy is aquatics. Let's go. All right, let's get right into it. Um, what is substrate? Well, if you want the dictionary term, substrate is an underlying substance or a layer that is a material from which an organism lives, grows, or obtains its nourishment. And if you don't know what that means, that's just basically something that lies on the bottom of your tank that, um, that provides nourishment for living organisms. And in this case, the living organism in my substrate would be beneficial bacteria. This beneficial bacteria that lies on this black sand that I included into my 75 gallon uh, is very good, helpful for the fish that live in my tank. These fish happen to be my OB peacocks and they are doing great in here with their black sand substrate. Now, why did I choose black sand substrate? I was going for a whole thing. I had the background black and I wanted the black substrate so that I could include some darker decorations that would make my OBs pop. Butterfly, which I call my little pet name for him. And my other OBs. That color pops off of that black sand. It makes those OBs a little bit more brilliant. So that's the reason why I picked black sand substrate. So now you're like, hey yo biz, is sand the only type of substrate? Now, there's a couple of more substrates that you can get into. Let's go to my 29. So here in my 20 here in my 29 gallon, you see a different type of substrate. Notice I have gravel lining the bottom of the 29 gallon. This holds a couple of my live plants. I have a couple of dwarf frogs in here. Aquatic frogs, see one there. I have my dojo loaches. A couple of guppies, a couple of tetras, a couple of platies. But as you can see, this substrate is gravel substrate. I used like to give it a little more natural look because I was putting um, logs and wood in here. Um, the platies and the dojo loaches love it. They like to swim around it. They like to stay underneath it. And it just gives it a little bit more of a, a natural look. Hey Biz, what about a bare bottom tank? All right, so here's the thing about bare bottom tank. It's simple and they're clean. Um, they're simple because you don't really have to uh, siphon through any sand, you don't have to siphon through any gravel. You get to see the fish food and the fish waste right there on your tank so you know when it's time to do your maintenance, you know when it's time to clean and how to clean it and where all of the waste is at. Also, the fish are the stars. Uh, you don't have to worry about any kind of sand or neon colored rocks or anything like that taking the uh, taking the appearance away from your fish. So the fish are the stars. You know where the waste is. You know where the excess food is. You don't have anything gunking up your filter. So bare bottom tanks aren't bad. And also, if you're a breeder, bare bottom tanks allow you to see the fry when they hatch or when they're spit out, depending on what kind of fish you have. So there go your bare bottom. So let's recap. Sand was the first substrate we were talking about. It is natural <coughs> clean, also can be a natural pH buffer for your water. 
um, but it is kind of hard to clean because when you siphon it, it could get stuck in your siphon. Uh, it could get kicked up by fish as they move it around and get into your filter and damage your motor, but it does look good. Also, the waste will sit on top, so you still know when to clean it. The only thing also about sand is you need to have a thin layer of sand, maybe like a half an inch, inch and a half, because uh, thick sand can gather gas pockets, and those gas pockets release that deadly gas bubbles and could um, ultimately harm your fish when you sift it around. That brings us right back to gravel. Natural look, hides waste a little bit better than sand. Also, is very cheap to get. You can purchase it in different colors, different sizes. So, there goes your three. Sand, gravel, pros and cons of each, and bare bottom. If you've got multiple tanks, try all three. Let me know which one you think. If you got a better idea for substrate, leave a comment right down in the comment section below. And always, Fishy Biz Aquatics, professional aquatics with the amateur touch. So amateurs, yep, get that professional look. Don't forget to subscribe and get it.